I'm gonna show y'all the experience that I usually have when I go inside that altar. Let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like this. Because at this point, I take it personal. It is Saturday morning. I don't know what I have planned today. I'm gonna get some breakfast. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. So this morning, I'm gonna have dumplings with salt fish and peppers and butter bean. That red stuff is ketchup. I like to put a little bit of ketchup on my salt fish. Let's warm it up. All right. Okay, so... Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put it here because I don't really like to eat out of bowls because I'm kind of big on presentation, okay? So so that's a dumpling. This is another dumpling. I'm just gonna put a little bit of ketchup. So it's like a couple of hours later and um, I'm thinking I should do a fragrance video. Um, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of makeup. I already put on my lashes. Inside my palms, play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh. Everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, baby, you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my mind. Play dead, will you regret everything that you did that you said? I don't think you understand what you're doing, and my heart's black and blue from the bruising. I feel like when I'm with you, I'm losing. I feel like you think that this amusing, sitting there gaslighting and confusing. Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I just did this makeup look I did not apply foundation, not once, not even a little bit This is just some concealer and um, some bronzer and some lippy And I did put on some lashes, do my brows, and that's it So good to know this is what it will look like if I did my makeup without foundation. Hey everyone, it's a girl, Shana J. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys some fragrances in my collection that have that wow factor, that it factor. You know, these are considered the unicorns of my fragrance collection. You know, they kind of had like that shock value to them. But anyway, guys, I don't wanna make this intro too long. Let's jump right into these fragrances. I'm gonna start out with the first one. So I just finished doing um, that uh, fragrance video. My husband ordered like pizza, cheesy bread. They're making me get fat. <laughs> I did put a little bit of honey on it. See that? Oh my God. It's so good. Mm. 
Mm, that is so good. I'm just here eating some pizza and watching some Netflix. Okay guys, so it is pretty late. I think I'm gonna call it a night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. If you're still here, let me see a blue emoji in the comments. Okay guys, so um, I'll see y'all later. Okay guys, so I just walked out of my house because I wanted to go to Sephora because I want to try some new fragrances. But like, I'm feeling anxious. Like, it's kind of weird. It's kind of noisy because I'm outside but you know um i'm feeling anxious like even though i have nothing to be anxious about i'm feeling like super anxious my car is right there all i have to do is get in and drive um but i'm finding it difficult like i, I think it, what is that anxiety <laughs> like i don't want to self-diagnose but that must be what it is like you know what I'm saying? Once I get in the car, I know I'll be fine, but it's the getting in the car part. And it's raining. And um it's cold. Like I see, I'm I'm like trying to find a reason to not get in the car and to not go where I wanna go. Um there's a car blocking me in. That's an, another excuse. There's a car blocking my car in, which is why I kind of hate New York sometimes. It's like bullshit like that. Like, yeah. But anyway, guys, I need some time to talk myself into actually getting in the car. I am made it in my car. Okay. And. Off. once i'm in the car i'm usually okay it's the get into the car like that she gives me so much like stress i become like a hermit of some sort and you know i feel sort of um strange talking about it because it makes me feel vulnerable it makes me think that people will assume that i'm weak because i have those kind of feelings but i'm not like i'm super strong i know how to handle myself when i'm outside the house and stuff like that but it's just like in it's just with everything that's going on too like in the world like everything is super scary i'm so sorry about this this angle guys but i want to talk to you guys while i'm feeling this way because it's gonna be hard to talk about this crap it's gonna be hard to talk about this if i'm not feeling it so i want to talk to you guys while i'm feeling it you know i'm trying to drive on the slows because my camera is barely standing up but yeah, with everything that's going on, all the killings, the shootings, the random violent attacks and shit like that. And oh my God, the news is traumatizing. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly. And I think with me just being an anxious person to start off with, it's, it's just making it worse. But I pushed myself today because I'm like, no, this is getting out of hand. I haven't been out of my house. Like on my own within the last i would say couple of weeks like usually if i'm gonna go out my husband has to be there and i'm like that's not fair to him you know what i'm saying so i gotta like boss up and do what i know i can do you know and to be honest i don't like to go on these little moves with my husband you know i wish i had a better view guys i'm so sorry but y'all could hear me right but let me know if you guys feel this way and what do you think it is is it like anxiety and if it is how do i like stop doing that how do i just get up and be confident and be like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get up i'm gonna do this without having to think about what 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 could happen like it's nothing bad is happening it's almost as though i'm anticipating that something bad is gonna happen and it's so scary like the emotion that i'm feeling is real like i'm like scared as if something already happened i think that shit is anxiety you know um maybe it's not as bad as other people's like it's probably a mild case if you experience anxiety and it's any more intense than this shit like i feel so so like bad for you you know
guys so i made it in one piece like i know i would but took a hell of a lot of getting it together to get here You know what's frustrating? There are so many Sephora's and I had to visit the Sephora that has no freaking perfume on the shelves. It's not like they never had perfumes before. They had perfumes before. They just removed it. I'm wondering why. I don't know what the f is going on. <sighs> Let me get out of here before I start cursing people out. <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay guys, so change of plans. Like I want to go into TJ Maxx in Burlington. I really do. But nowadays, I don't know if y'all notice that they don't have shit in there. And the little bit of stuff that they have is like super expensive. So I think I'm just gonna go to another location where they have an altar. <sighs> I'm not even trying to laugh, but let me let me just do it. Let's get out of here. Keep my cool. So I gotta actually tell myself it's okay, it's fine. Don't run about this direction. This is so crazy to me. Like I'm gonna stop coming over this side because every time I come over this side, I'm like disappointed. I'm just gonna stick to what I know. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, look what we have here. We have a Sephora. In a couple of my past videos, I've mentioned to you guys that my local Ulta is severely underserved. I don't know if it's because of the neighborhood that it's in. Um, it's inside of a mall. So I, I'm not understanding, but it's severely underserved and it feels mad disrespectful. Because when you go into that Ulta, I'm going to show y'all what happened. Okay, I'm going to show y'all the experience that I usually have when I go inside that Ulta let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like this because at this point i take it personal let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like this
Okay, now I'm in Burlington. Let's see if they're gonna make my day. Never heard of this one. Prince Camudo Brilliante or Brilliante, I guess that's what that is. Um, never heard of it, but Vince Camudo to me, they never really last long. And um, 360 degrees coral. I had this fragrance before and I really liked it. It's a light scent, like a light, fruity, floral, musky scent. Very nice, actually. But I gave it away. I can't remember why I gave it away. Um, it's only 10 bucks. Do I need it? No. But I'm gonna be mad as hell if I walk by here and someone else sticks it up. I'm gonna be mad as hell. But it seems like they have the same trash. Okay, the same trash. Endless wonder. Oh, that's air pastel. Mm, blush. I have this already, and it's nice. It's like a pink green floral. Very lush, but nah. Um, let me see what they got here. Pure white, Banana Republic. I find that Banana Republic fragrances they smell nice, but they don't really last long. We're not. I'm. Not, I'm trying to stay away from those. So it's a no for me. Not my coins. Not today. What is this? This looks like a man's fragrance. So it's a no for me. What we got back here? Juice. Do y'all know if this smells good? Something tells me that it doesn't. I don't know why. It looks cheap. Um, okay. Same crap. Mm. Hope you guys. Same thing down here. Someone told me that they purchased this fragrance because I spoke about it. I wish they had told me that before they, they spent their money on it. I hope they like it. I don't hate it, but it's nothing special. So I kind of feel bad that that person just watched a very old video of mine where I did like like an unboxing. It wasn't an unboxing. It was just at my first impression. They have that here. Uh, no thank you. I already have that fragrance and I haven't been wearing it. Not too much. Ooh, what is this? Vince Camuto again. I see something here. This is a sugar full and spice. That sounds interesting. How much is this? Where's the price? No price? Oh, no, there's a price. $16.99. Mm, $16.99. I think I'm gonna pick this up. Seems like it's open too. Maybe I could try it out. Give me a second, guys. Let me pause this video. Okay guys, so I got it open. I spread it out. Let me just sit it right here while I sniff it. It smells like a sweet orange type scent, like an orange spice type scent. Uh, I don't think it's for me. Yeah, it smells very like spicy, like sour, like sour and spicy. I know fragrances like that and I know my own chemistry and I know for a fact shit like that smells nasty on me. So I think I'm a pass. I'm glad there was an open bottle there because I probably would have purchased it and I would have been disappointed as hell. They got this guest seductive. What is this? What's that? It says charm. Guest seduct seductive charm. This is 19.99, 20 bucks. Okay. This is guest kiss. Hmm. That scares me. All these flankers scare me. Something tells me that's not a good sign. I literally just came back home. I did so much sniffing. So much, so much sniffing. I'm smelling so good right now. There is one fragrance that I'm literally going to order right now. Like, I'm going to order it right now because I need that fragrance in my collection. I need it, like right now okay i'm not even exaggerating it, i spread so many fragrances on myself but it's the only fragrance i could smell on me it smells so good so sweet and just so intoxicating it's freaking amazing now i did purchase one fragrance i didn't take a bag i just told them i will put it in my purse so i did go into bath and body works 
And I picked up the travel size of the Midnight Amber Glow Fragrance. I did pick this up. Now, I do have the 8-ounce bottle, but it's broken. And I didn't walk with my receipt. And I wanted to just wear it tonight. So I decided to just pick up the mini or whatever we call this. I think it's the travel spray or the mini, whatever. I don't know why, but I'm getting like a shampoo scent mixed with like a creamy coffee or latte type of scent i don't know it's beautiful though so yeah i want to try it tonight i'm gonna wear it to bed and see how it is um so yeah so that's the only thing that i picked up but guys before i forget let me just order this perfume that i'm about to order so right now i'm on the sephora website okay so here it is i'm looking for the original the edp okay so here it is right here um I'm not really sure what size I'm gonna get. I think the bigger bottle is like almost 140 bucks. This is like not cheap at all. Okay, they have the smaller size, which is the one ounce bottle, which is 76 bucks, and they have the huge bottle, the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, which is for $131 right now. But to get it for that price, you have to sign up for this auto replenish. I don't want that. Like, who wants to replenish on a perfume? Like, I mean, maybe some people, but I, I, I sure don't want to replenish on anything. Um, and they have the travel spray for like, how much is the travel spray? The travel spray is for like 30 bucks or for 32 bucks. Now, I never, um, I don't like the whole idea behind the travel spray. It just kind of seems like a waste to me. But I'm wondering if that's the better option. I don't know I don't know guys oh my god this is usually where I get cold feet to be honest because now we really talking money and I work hard for my money y'all so and the way my nose is set up I get tired of perfumes like I could love a perfume today and tomorrow I'm just like whatever like I really really like this one though I'm like sniffing my sweater it smells really good oh I don't know guys i think the best thing to do is to go in with like a travel spray and if i could go through the travel spray then i'll know for sure that i really really like it um so i'm gonna go ahead with the travel spray i was so sure i was gonna get a full bottle but so i'm gonna just yeah i'm gonna take it easy today i'm gonna just get the travel spray okay all right let me just view what's in my basket so in my basket i have the sol de janeiro um brazilian crushed rosa 71 spray and i have the valentino born in roma fragrance but i bought the travis spray so yeah so let me check out before i change my mind okay guys so i'm gonna do the after pay option i don't know if you guys know about after pay i mean not sponsored or anything but i feel like this option is the best it's like an interest-free way to pay for things so with after pay instead of paying one full amount you could just pay in increments like a smaller amount every couple of weeks i think they'll deduct the um that small amount from your account and i think it's just us you know it's just a less stressful way to shop you know i mean for me it just works out so yeah okay so i think that really okay guys so that's it i paid for it what the f me are you kidding me right now <laughs> you know what it's fine i got the money no worries it's it's okay no worries we'll pay okay guys so that's it um i made the purchase i am so tired i'm gonna start to clean my apartment a little bit because it is a little bit messy my husband is on his way home and i like for the house to be clean when he gets here you know it's just a better feeling you've been out all day working you want to come home to a nice clean spot so yeah I'm going to start the next vlog where I actually get the package. I think that may be a good idea. Later. Bye.